morning, my name is Jeanette. I'm going to be showing you today how to drill glass. Um, it's kind of a daunting thing for a lot of people, but really drilling glass is easy. You want to make sure that you practice a couple of times with just a piece of glass before you put your masterpiece under the drill. Today we're going to work um, with two different methods of drilling glass. First one, which is my chosen method, is using a drill press. We have here um, not a high quality drill press. I would like to warn you that water and drill presses are not meant to be together. So um, if you look at ours, it's got a little rust on it. Uh, don't use your machinist's drill press. Use an inexpensive drill press. Also for safety, there's two different things going on here. We have water and electricity. These are not good things to have together. You should have your tools plugged into a ground fault interrupt outlet. These are, you know, there should be no time when the water gets to the electricity, but, um, you know, it's always good to be safe. The other thing is that we're drilling and we're putting pressure into glass, which may have stresses built into it already. So you should always wear safety glasses. Um, always when you're modifying glass abrasively, you always have to do it wet. We've kind of worked up this assemblage of um, using a, a plastic tray and it's full of water and we've got styrofoam in here. Now this styrofoam is here so that our drill can go through the glass and into the styrofoam. It does a couple of things. It, um, it lets you have something a little cushy to support the glass and it also, when the drill goes through the styrofoam, usually the little piece of glass that you've drilled out will stick in that styrofoam. We're going to be drilling a quarter inch drill hole and to do that we use a core drill. And a core drill is hollow inside so we're only going to drill away the outside edge of our hole and then when we're done we'll have a little tiny piece of glass. We have this little flower that needs to have a hole in it so we can assemble it. So I'm going to slide it right into here. Now this flower happens to keep the water out so I'm actually going to put water inside of the flower. And before I turn it on, I'm going to make sure I'm comfortable. This takes a minute or so, so you got to have patience. I'm going to make sure that the way I'm holding this uh, wheel is going to allow, I'm going to be able to turn it far enough to get it down into the glass. Make sure the drill goes in there, that I'm centered where I want it to be centered. Once I start to drill, I really don't want to let up because it's really hard to center yourself again if you let up. And turn on the drill. Rotate this down. And I'm looking down into that hole, you hear it start to drill, and I can see the dust of the grinder coloring the water inside, so I know it's drilling. Not to mention it makes a horrendous noise. I can kind of release and push down and let it up. I'm not, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this. You can see I'm just holding it with my thumb. Isn't that a fun noise? Make sure I'm all the way through. Turn off my drill. You want to be careful because it's easy if you don't turn it off to let it catch and look there's a hole just like that so easy hi um, once again we're talking about drilling in glass and now if you don't have a drill press you can use a drill a hand drill I myself have a hard time with these because I have a hard time holding the glass still so I have my friend here Roy he's gonna help we're gonna use again the core drill which if you can see in this picture it's hollow in the middle um, if you're using a small, making a small hole, something smaller than an eighth of an inch, a regular drill, diamond drill, will do the job. But if you want to make a hole that's much bigger than an eighth of an inch, using a core drill means you only have to drill away the glass around the outside of the drill. Um, so we're going to, again, make sure our water, our, our piece of glass is in the water. I'm going to start with a little nick in the glass. This will help me hold it in place. So if I just put it on here and start drilling, it's going to want to scoot around. So I'm going to first put a little nick to hold that still. I'm working with the highest speed. If your drill has adjustable speeds and torque, speed is what you want, not torque. So Roy's notching a little, just a little cut in the glass to help hold that still. 
we're still working on the styrofoam again to help cushion the glass the, the finished piece that we're trying to drill a hole in and he's slowly easing up to straight okay so we continue on through the glass and assemble it and you have a flower thank you if you have any problems drilling holes in glass, give, a, give us a call. We can always help you out.